You may think it's funny, but I was the last one to see them live last summer. There were only seven in the world and the zoo had four of them. And I used to go there every night just to watch them stand so still in the water. And they moved so graceful in slow motion. They had long legs and they were as skinny as my little finger. And there were only seven in the world because they killed them off for feathers for ladies' hats or something like that. And one night, a gang of boys came with radios to their ears. And they were cursing real bad. You know, F and everything. And I was, you know, scared. And they were saying dirty things to me. And one of the boys grabbed one of the stones to see how close he could splash the birds. And then another boy grabbed a stone to see how close he could splash the birds. And then all of the kids started throwing stones at the birds just to see how close they could splash them. And one of the stones hit the birds. And the leg, it bended like a straw. Flapping wings in the water, the birds were keeled over the water. And I was screaming, stop it but they couldn't hear me over the ugly music on the radios. They just kept on cursing and throwing and I kept on screaming, stop it. And so I went to get the zoo guard and he got his club and he ran back to where the kids were, but they weren't there any longer. And the water was so still and it was all white feathers in the water. There were swirls of blood in the water. And the birds, their beaks halfway open, and the legs broke, and the toes were curled. And it was so still, like the world had just stopped for a minute. And the zoo guard was talking to me, but I couldn't hear him. I could only see his mouth moving. And then the police came and they took me to the hospital and they put a big needle in me to make me stop screaming. And they never got the kids. But even if they did, what good would that do? wouldn't bring the birds back alive.